Good morning, everybody. I'm supposed to be a blessing. Today is March the 12th, 2019, and this is my reading for my Scorpios. If you're new to my channel, please take a moment to like, subscribe, comment. That's right. Hit the bell so you receive notification when I upload videos. If you're seeking your own personal tarot card reading, please feel free to call me at 347-227-5723. With that being said, Scorpios, we're going to get into this reading. First card that popped off for you here, as you can see, is the High Priestess. The High Priestess talks about you following your intuition in regard to things that are going on in your life. It's kind of like when you receive nudges about something. It's like that when your hair stands up on your neck or your stomach gets in knots or something like that. Or if you hear a little voice and they say, don't go that way home. Pay attention to that because it's telling you things, okay? That's the signs from the universe. Also, you have the Eight of Cups, so definitely somebody needs to leave somebody. Leaving people placing things behind that no longer serve you. I mean, everybody can go on with you to your next level. You have the Six of Swords here. It's said that you're going to be very victorious with something that's going on in your life. There's a water sign here. This King of Cups that's coming in to offer you some love. Could be a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Mm hmm. Very intuitive individual. Very much so. Um, you have the Will here. It's saying you're going to be sucking out of one sack, going into another. Financial increase is definitely on the horizon for you here. You've been working extremely hard. And you know what, y'all? Y'all supposed to learn something new every day. That's the Eight of Pentacles. Isn't that a gorgeous card? OMG. The Sun card is here saying it's going to make you very happy, whatever you learn. So, okay, that's cool. Remember what I say. Put pen to paper. Write down things that you want to remember, okay? You have the Chariot card here. It talks about movement within your life and things of that sort. You also have the Three of Swords. So you're dealing with some heartache and pain here, some very much disappointment. I do see arguments and things of that sort. Somebody not getting along with somebody. And I see that you want to be, you know, have that stability and that love within your life. You want that happiness. And who doesn't? You know what I mean, y'all? Then you have the justice card. So it could say you're going to get justice about something that somebody did to you. Or you could be dealing with a court case. If you're dealing with a court case, it's just have, you have to be very positive in regard to this situation. That things will work out in your favor. Things will balance out. You have the hangman here. The hangman is saying that somebody needs to look at things from a different perspective. Okay? Um, sometimes things are not always about you and you need to see things from somebody else's point of view. Try to walk them out in their shoes and then you'll see how they feeling. All right. You have a seven and one. So you're defending yourself against other people. Can y'all see? Cause these cards got so many designs on. That's the man up there. He's defending himself from all these people down here. I love these cards cause they're very beautiful. Um, they take you to places in your mind. If you think about it, when you look at it. Because the artwork on these cards is so gorgeous. Okay. Now the nine of swords. Somebody's up at night and they worried. You see he's worried down here. Well, she's worried on her knees, holding her head in her in her hands. Can't sleep at night, going through some changes. You have here this card is the eight of swords. Somebody feels like they trapped. See? She's inside this. She's trapped. Trapped in a mind and things because this is the eight of swords. That has to do with your mind. So your thoughts have you trapped within something. Sometimes, did y'all know that your thoughts can paralyze you? You could be thinking something and thinking something and thinking something. Can have you so damn scared you can't move. That's some fucked up shit. Y'all need to get that shit in check. You have the um the eight of ones here, and this talks about communicating with somebody, and it needs to take place really, really fast. You also have the four of pentacles. This talks about giving and taking. The universe works like that. If you give to somebody, the universe is going to come back around and bless you. It is what it is. The nine of cups talks about, I know that you have wishes that you need fulfilled, so now could be a good time for you to go ahead and um, any wishes that you want fulfilled at this time, can possibly come to fruition. You also have the Three of Cups. Now, on one hand, the Three of Cups talks about celebration and things of that sort. Because on this side over here, you could be celebrating and be happy and things of that sort with the Three of Cups. But if you go on this side, because it's badly expected on this side, because you have the Devil card, which talks about mm -hmm. obsession. Um, it also talks about um, bad relationships. It talks about all that stuff to get like 
feeling trapped, being with somebody who drinks too much, drugs too much, somebody who's very obsessive over somebody here, not letting them be the way that they need to be, you know, so controlling, they holding on to the reins a little bit too tight, is what I'm seeing here. Um, Y'all know I try to make light of a situation. I said somebody might jump out the bush on your ass or something. They look for your ass in the daytime with a flashlight. <laughs> it is what it is and be wanting to know where you at, where you been. Hmm, you just in the bathroom. You're like, well, damn, I'm in the bathroom. Who in there with you? Y'all know what I mean? That kind of bullshit. But um, <laughs> keeping it moving right along. Um, you have the three of pentacles here, so it says you've been working extremely hard. You know what? When you work extremely hard, it will definitely pay off for you because this is your world and you're going to cycle out of one thing going to another. So it means that things are going to manifest for you if you want them bad enough, they can. But you have to keep your attitude and things like that in check as well. You know what I'm saying? Your shit together for things to balance out here with this temperance card. Things are going to balance out for you, Scorpios. And your last card that came out for you, somebody feeling left out in the cold in regard to some finances here. So what's really going on, Scorpios? With that being said, I'm as best to be a blessing. Please like, subscribe, comment to my channel. Also, um, hit that bell so you see notifications when I upload videos. And if you're interested in your own personal tarot card reading, please feel free to call me at 347-227-5723. And y'all know what? Y'all have a blessed day. And please do smile because some people don't smile. You know, if they smile, they damn face a crack. With that being said, I'm, I'm out. Talk to you later.